Welcome to the Bible Quiz. Today we embark on a fascinating exploration of biblical lineage, focusing on the theme, Who is this Father? to shed light on family relationships throughout Scripture. We've carefully selected 25 thought-provoking questions to challenge your knowledge of biblical father figures. Are you ready to test your understanding? Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and like this video to support our mission of spreading God's Word. Your encouragement helps us expand the reach of our message. After the test, share your thoughts and insights in the comments section below. We are excited to hear from you and be a part of your Bible journey. Let us learn together and discover the rich tapestry of fatherhood in the Bible. Let's get started. Question 1. Who fathered the three brothers Shem, Ham, and Japheth? A. Ahab B. Boaz C. Noah D. Moses You get 10 seconds. That's C, Noah. According to Genesis chapter 6, verse 10, Noah, who is renowned for building the ark and surviving the great flood, is recorded as the father of three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. This lineage is significant as these sons played crucial roles in the repopulation of the earth after the flood, forming the foundation for the diverse human population that followed. Question 2. Who is the father of King Ahab? A. Omri B. Elijah C. Zedekiah D. Nebuchadnezzar You get 10 seconds. That's A, Omri. Omri, mentioned in 1 Kings chapter 16, verses 21 to 28, was the father of King Ahab, a famous ruler in Israel's history. Ahab's dynasty succeeded Omri to the throne after King Zimri was overthrown. This lineage emphasizes dynastic succession in the Israeli monarchy. Question 3. Who is the father of the blind beggar Bartimaeus? A. Daniel B. Jesse C. Matthew D. Timaeus You get 10 seconds. That's D. Timaeus Bartimaeus, the blind beggar mentioned in the New Testament, is the son of Timaeus. This is mentioned in Mark chapter 10, verse 46. Then they came to Jericho. As Jesus and his disciples, together with a large crowd, were leaving the city, a blind man, Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside begging. Question 4. Who fathered the weeping prophet Jeremiah? A. Saul. B. Hilkiah C. Amon D. Josiah You get 10 seconds. That's B. Hilkiah Jeremiah, often referred to as the weeping prophet, hailed from Anathoth in the land of Benjamin. His father, Hilkiah, was a priest, as detailed in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 1. This lineage highlights Jeremiah's background in the priesthood, providing context to his prophetic ministry and his intimate connection to the religious traditions of Israel. Question 5. Who fathered Haman? A. Ahab B. Mordecai C. Mimukon 
D. Hamadatha. You get 10 seconds. That's D. Hamadatha. Hamadatha, identified as an Agagite, was the father of Haman. The term Agagite suggests that Hamadatha belonged to the lineage of Agag, the king of the Amalekites. The mention of Hamadatha's lineage is found in Esther, chapter 3, verse 1. Esteemed pal, stay in the know and never miss a quiz again. Hit subscribe and be the first to catch all the excitement. Question 6. Who is the father of the very old prophetess Anna? A. Eli B. Phanuel C. Methuselah D. Strom Thurmond You get 10 seconds. That's B. Phanuel. Phanuel, mentioned in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verse 36, is recorded as Anna's father. Anna's lineage adds depth to her character and underscores her spiritual heritage as a prophetess in the temple. Question 7. Who is the father of King Ahaz? A. Asa. B. Omri. C. Jotham. D. Timaeus. You get 10 seconds. That's C. Jotham. Jotham was the father of Ahaz, who reigned as king of Judah. Ahaz's reign is described in 2 Kings chapter 16. Jotham is also mentioned as Ahaz's father in other biblical passages such as 2 Chronicles chapter 27 verse 9. Question 8. Who fathered Terah, Abraham's father? A. Nahor B. Eber C. Serug D. Methuselah You get 10 seconds. That's A, Nahor. Nahor is identified as the father of Terah in Genesis chapter 11, verses 24 to 26. Terah's lineage is described, stating that Nahor fathered Terah, who later became the father of Abraham, Nahor, and Haran. This establishes Nahor as Abraham's grandfather. Question 9. Who is the apostle who was the son of Alphaeus? A. Paul B. James C. Moses D. Simon You get 10 seconds. That's B. James In the New Testament, James the Less also known as James the son of Alphaeus, is listed as one of the twelve apostles chosen by Jesus. He is distinguished from James the son of Zebedee and is mentioned in Matthew chapter 10 verse 3. Question 10. Who is the father of Judas Iscariot, the betrayer of Jesus? A. None. B. Luther. C. Simon. D. Shaphat. You get 10 seconds. That's B, Simon. In the Gospel of John, Judas Iscariot's father is identified as Simon Iscariot. 
This is mentioned in John chapter 6, verse 71, where Jesus refers to Judas Iscariot as Judas son of Simon Iscariot. Question 11. Who was Samuel's father, whose name is mentioned eight times in the Bible? A. Nahor B. Phineas C. Salmon D. Elkanah You get 10 seconds. That's D, Elkanah. Elkanah is identified as the father of the prophet Samuel in 1 Samuel chapter 1, verses 1 to 2. He is described as being from the tribe of Ephraim and having two wives, Hannah and Peninnah. Elkanah's name appears multiple times in the books of 1 Samuel and 2 Samuel. Question 12. King David's father's name was Jesse, who was Jesse's father. A. Obed B. Boaz C. Nahor D. Elimelech You get 10 seconds. That's A. Obed in Ruth chapter 4, verses 17 to 22, Jesse is notably identified as the son of Obed. Obed, in turn, was the son born to Boaz and Ruth, making him the father of Jesse and ultimately the grandfather of King David. This lineage holds profound significance as David, a central figure in biblical history, is frequently referenced as the son of Jesse in numerous passages throughout the Bible. Question 13. The son saw his father lying naked in the tent after being drunk. Who was his father? A. Ham B. Shem C. Japheth D. Noah You get 10 seconds. That's D, Noah. In Genesis chapter 9, verses 20 to 27, where Noah, after partaking in wine and lay uncovered inside his tent, his son Ham witnessed him in this state and went out to inform his brothers, Shem and Japheth, who respectfully covered their father without looking at him. Noah, upon waking and learning what had happened, pronounced blessings and curses upon his descendants. Question 14. Who was the father of the apostles James and John? A. Levi B. Zebedee C. Amos D. Isaac You get 10 seconds. That's B, Zebedee. Zebedee is referenced as the father of James and John in Matthew chapter 4, verse 21. He was a fisherman by profession, working alongside his sons in their fishing business on the Sea of Galilee. Zebedee's wife was Salome, who is also mentioned in the Gospels. Although Zebedee is not extensively mentioned in the Bible, his sons James and John became prominent disciples of Jesus. Question 15. Who is the father of Moses, Aaron, and Miriam, the leaders of the Israelites during the Exodus? A. Amram B. Jacob C. Jesse D. Eli You get 10 seconds. That's A, Amram. Amram is identified as the father of Moses, 
Aaron and Miriam in Exodus chapter 6, verse 20. He was a member of the tribe of Levi, descended from the lineage of Kohath. Amram married Jochebed, his father's sister, and together they bore Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. As the patriarch of these notable figures in Israelite history, Amram played a crucial role in the Exodus narrative, particularly in the liberation of the Hebrew slaves from Egypt. Question 16. Who is the father of John the Baptist, the prophet who prepared the way for Jesus Christ and baptized him in the Jordan River? A. Levi B. Simeon C. Zechariah D. Zacharias You get 10 seconds. That's C. Zechariah. Zechariah, a priest of the division of Abijah, is mentioned in Luke chapter 1 verses 5 to 25 as the father of John the Baptist. He and his wife Elizabeth were advanced in years and childless until the angel Gabriel appeared to Zechariah, informing him that Elizabeth would conceive a son who would be named John. Zechariah initially doubted the angel's message and was struck mute until John's birth. Question 17. Which father sacrifices his son to show his loyalty to God? A. Isaac B. Jacob C. Adam D. Abraham You get 10 seconds. That's D, Abraham. Abraham's willingness to sacrifice his son Isaac as an act of obedience to God is recounted in Genesis chapter 22, verses 1 to 19. Despite the immense challenge, Abraham demonstrated unwavering obedience, but God provided a ram as a substitute sacrifice, affirming Abraham's faithfulness. Question 18. Who is the father of the prophet Samuel, the last of the judges and anointer of Saul and David as kings of Israel? A. Obed B. Elkanah C. Boaz D. Jesse You get 10 seconds. That's B, Elkanah. Elkanah is mentioned in 1 Samuel, chapter 1, verses 1 to 2, as the father of Samuel. He was a devout man who lived in Ramathaim Zophim of the hill country of Ephraim. Elkanah had two wives, Hannah and Peninnah, but Hannah was barren. Through fervent prayer at the tabernacle, Hannah eventually conceived Samuel, whom she dedicated to the Lord's service from his infancy. Question 19. Who is the father of Solomon, known for his wisdom and wealth, and the builder of the first temple in Jerusalem? A. David B. Isaac C. Jacob D. Abraham You get 10 seconds. That's A. David. King David, renowned for his accomplishments and significance in Israelite history, was the father of Solomon. Solomon succeeded his father as king and is credited with building the first temple in Jerusalem, establishing a prosperous reign, and being blessed with exceptional wisdom in 2 Samuel chapter 12, verses 24 to 25, Va 1 Chronicles chapter 22, verses 9 to 10. Question 20. 
Who was Joshua's father, who led the Israelites into the Promised Land after Moses' death? A. Jacob B. Caleb C. Nun D. Joseph You get 10 seconds. That's C, none. In Numbers chapter 13, verse 16, Joshua, Moses' successor and a key figure in leading the Israelites into the Promised Land, was the son of Nun. Under Joshua's leadership, the Israelites crossed the Jordan River and conquered Jericho, marking the beginning of their possession of the land promised to them by God. Question 21. Who is the father of Jacob, also known as Israel? the patriarch of the twelve tribes. A. Abraham B. Judah C. Esau D. Isaac You get ten seconds. That's D, Isaac. According to Genesis chapter 25, verses 19 to 26, Isaac, son of Abraham and Sarah, was the father of Jacob, who later became known as Israel. Isaac's son played a pivotal role in biblical history. Question 22. Who was the father of Judge Samson, famous for his extraordinary strength and long hair? A, Manoah. B, Gideon. C. Boaz. D. Eli. You get 10 seconds. That's A. Manoah. In Judges chapter 13, verses 2 to 25, Manoah, a Danite from the town of Zorah, was the father of Samson, who was chosen by God to deliver the Israelites from the oppression of the Philistines. Samson's birth was foretold by an angel, and he was endowed with supernatural strength, which he used to combat the enemies of Israel. Question 23. Who is the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary? A. Eli B. Jacob C. David D. Zechariah You get 10 seconds. That's B. Jacob. In the Bible, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, is identified as Jacob, also known as Eli. This lineage is mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 1, where it traces the genealogy of Jesus. It states in Matthew chapter 1 verse 16, And Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, and Mary was the mother of Jesus who is called the Messiah. Question 24. Who is the father of the Apostle Andrew, known for being one of the first disciples of Jesus? A. Joseph B. Simon Peter C. Bartholomew D. Jonas You get 10 seconds. That's D, Jonas. Jonas or John in John chapter 1 verse 42 is mentioned in Matthew chapter 16 verse 17 as the father of Andrew, one of Jesus' first disciples. Andrew, along with his brother Simon Peter, was called by Jesus to become fishers of men and play an important role in spreading the gospel. Question 25. Who is the father of Gideon? 
the judge who led Israel to victory against the Midianites? A. Abimelech B. Penuel C. Josh D. Manasseh You get 10 seconds. That's C, Josh. In Genesis chapter 6, verse 11, Gideon is introduced as the son of Josh, a man of the tribe of Manasseh. Josh is described as a wealthy man, and Gideon used his enlightenment and intelligence to play a key role in rescuing the Israelites from the invasion of opposing nations. Oh, what a profound exploration of biblical fatherhood. Your journey through the scriptures has shed light on the pivotal role of fathers in shaping history and faith. How did you fare? Whether you breeze through the quiz or uncovered new insights, remember the enduring legacy of these fathers in the Word of God. If you found this quiz enlightening, please give the video a thumbs up and share it with your loved ones. Let's invite them to join us on this captivating journey through the lives of biblical fathers. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more quizzes and profound insights into the fathers of the Bible. We value your feedback, so share your thoughts, questions, or ideas for future quizzes in the comments below. Together, we'll continue to delve deeper into the rich tapestry of God's Word. Thank you for honoring these fathers of faith today. May their stories inspire and guide you on your own spiritual journey. Until next time, take care and see you in the next video.